the calmness of a killer. Well, I know it's going to happen. We just go to prison, obviously, but again. Wow, what have you done? Have you done something to anyone else? Yeah. What have you done? I've murdered four people. This is Damien Bendel handing himself into police after the brutal murders of his partner, her two children, and one of their friends. He had a history of violence, but at the time of the killings, he was on probation, serving a suspended prison sentence for arson. Now, a damning report by His Majesty's Inspectorate of Probation has highlighted how the service's handling of Bendel's case fell well below the necessary standard, that the risk he posed had been badly underestimated. We found that at uh, every stage of the probation service's assessment and management of Damien Bendel, the quality of that work was of an unacceptable standard. Bendel was living under curfew with his girlfriend, Terry Harris, and her two children, John Paul and Lacey Bennett, despite previous convictions for violent crime and allegations of domestic abuse made by a former partner. He murdered all three, as well as 11-year-old Connie Gent, who was having a sleepover at the house. The probation service allowed Bendel to give this address to the courts as the place where he would serve out his five-month curfew without first speaking to Terry Harris, without visiting the property and without carrying out any domestic abuse inquiries. The review highlighted the fact that Bendel had previously served three prison sentences between 2011 and 2019, two for violent robbery, one for assaulting a prison officer. It says that Bendel was incorrectly assessed as posing a medium risk to the public and a low risk to partners and to children. In reality, it says he should have been assessed as being of high risk of serious harm. Pre-sentence reports for his arson conviction also failed to include safeguarding or domestic abuse checks. The failings essentially meant that the judge who gave Bendel the suspended sentence, which allowed him to commit the murders, did not have the full facts about the risk he posed. Fraser Maud, Sky News, Killamarsh.